So my name is Ben Snodgrass. I work for Cummins. So I lead the product management organization uh, within the marketing function uh, for the aftermarket parts group within Cummins. It's a Fortune 500 company, again, based out of Columbus, Indiana. So a small town, but a, a big company. Everything from the Dodge, the engine that goes in the Dodge Ram in North America, which people are probably familiar with, to uh, large engines that go on boats uh, in South Africa. I've had a variety of experiences uh, with the company, all within the marketing function, um, from sales to pricing to product management. Um, and have worked in several different places from Nashville, Tennessee. I lived in Madison, Wisconsin for a couple of years, uh, Columbus, Indiana. I lived in Pune, India for a couple of years. Uh, so I've really been all over uh, doing a variety of different marketing functions with the, within the company. Our engines are sold to customers uh, literally all, all over the world. Um, and so when those engines break in any of the 196 countries that we uh, sell our products into, they need parts and service uh, from our group to support those engines. Uh, we have large business in North America, but every day uh, we work with customers uh, and our partners uh, and employees around the world to support our customers. Um, so I don't speak any other language as well. I speak a little bit of French and a little bit of Spanish. Um, but uh, certainly it helps. Languages certainly give you a leg up and advantage. Um, in our job, talking about what customers need and, and making sure we have the right products for our customers, um, if you're talking to a mine operator in Chile, uh, they may or may not speak English. And so uh, being able to speak Spanish in, in, in that example is incredibly helpful to really understand um, uh, what those customers want, not only from a language perspective, but simply also understanding the cultural differences in the way they think, the, the way they uh, approach business, uh, the way they approach life. All of those aspects on top of the language certainly help you understand really what the products are they need and what they value to enable us to, to, to provide them a better service. Some introductory, you know, Spanish 101 um, here at Indiana University. And that has been really helpful just for basic, uh, being able to catch a couple words here and there um, and working with, uh, with our teams in Latin America. Just even a little bit of that is helpful. Uh, I went to school with people from all over the world um, and, and had a lot of friends from India specifically. Uh, when I moved to India, that helped tremendously. Being able to understand and having friends and understanding a bit of their culture, um, the way they work, what they think about, what they eat, how they think about life and approach uh, free time. All, all of those things have some impact on when, when you go to do business in, in, that, in that region or country. And you may not think about these things as you're in, uh, in a class with people from all over the world and you're on a team with people from China and India and, and Chile, but next thing you know, you're, you're living in India and you're like, oh, looking back at a project or something you did in uh, class and, and learning how to work with those people that all oh, really intelligent, smart people, but work maybe in different ways. Uh, those are some of those skills that there's no textbook to teach you exactly how to do that. Um, and having those experiences really pays off. The gentleman on the team uh, grew up in, in Seymour, Indiana, um, and his, uh, his mother is from Guatemala. He speaks uh, fluent Spanish. And his ability to connect with our customers and our distributors in those regions um, was amazing. And he was really able to one-on-one -on -one break down a lot of bar barriers and make the progress that some of us couldn't make. Be curious, so ask a lot of questions. Um, ask them to your friends, ask them to strangers, ask them to, to um, colleagues or, or, or fellow students. So all of that is really important. And, and the other thing is to be flexible too. The way people work and, and approach problems around the world aren't the same, and that's not a bad thing. And so the way that you may want to do it, or even the way you were taught to do it, may not be the only or even the best way to do that. Um, and so be, uh, be open and flexible to new ideas and, and new ways to approach solving problems.